content creators, you better not spoil the Forgotten City. We know this. We know when you reach the White Hallway, you'd better give the audience a spoiler warning. We haven't gotten there yet. Will we get there tonight? Who can say? Last time, we got two of the plaques, Egyptian and Sumerian. We need to get Roman and Greek. And I believe the thing that we wanted to do... The great temple majestic. Hi. Yeah, someone uh, jumped off that last time. Someone committed suicide. Quite choppy. Maybe it's just loading up. That's a little better now. Hold on, let me uh, just take a look at what our quests are at this point. Right. Get Malaleus to drop out of the election. The Ro we know where the Roman plaque is. Octavia has it, but we need to be able to talk to her about being a secret Christian. Uh, Greek plaque that is in Dooley Cell. We need to get uh, we need to get Gallius uh, Galileo. I forget it. I forget. It. We need to get him elected magistrate. Galerius, there it is. Got to do that. But we need to get Malaleus to you know drop out first. Stop Opius from killing himself. Right. We have to do that. Hello. You have a good reason for flouting my weapons ban. Yes. I mean, you you know what it is. You don't have to pretend. You can just drop the act. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? We have. Wait. I must have. In is that a? I'm sorry. I broke it. In Pluto's name, would you do that? I wanted to see what would happen. You just wanted... What is wrong with you? Do you fancy yourself as Morta, holding the threads of our fate in your hands? Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Uh, looks like nothing new. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. So, right now it seems like... I'm thinking that as far as the Roman plaque goes... Now we have to stop this guy from killing himself. Like, I assume it's his body that's down there, because who else could that be? Because Octavia was standing next to him when he jumped, and Octavia has her little Christian hidey hole with the, uh, the Roman plaque in it. Oi! So I assume we have to stop that um, suicide from happening if we want to be able to talk with her some more. It's just my assumption. Where would she be right now? I don't know. She might be in her hidey hole. She might be somewhere else. But would she be willing to open up to us about her being a secret Christian? Well, so far, I don't think any of the secret Christians really want to. Well, I mean, the guy with rheumatism, he he mentioned some things. I don't know if he del if he really came out about it to us. Like, the secret Christians really don't want people to know they're secret Christians, you know? They don't want people- they don't- they don't want anyone to know that because that- it's not a great thing in this society. Don't want that, uh, assassin become looking. Because that assassin is gonna be coming at some- well, I mean, we can control when he- when he gets here. Um, and as we know, we can sick him on Malaleus, but I wonder if there's a reason to do that. We know that doing so just results in the golden rule being broken, because that guy will shoot the gladiator, the assassin, uh, and that breaks the golden rule. So, I don't know if there would actually be a reason to 
to, uh, to tell the assassin to go after There we go. To go after Malaleus. I mean, we have the option to do it. Oh, hey! We should just climb climb over this? I was gonna... I was thinking about how do I convince her to take me here? Yoink! That's still locked. I, sh I guess I should tell you that I I'm taking this. What are you doing here? Please leave. I said, please leave. You're trespassing. You're looking at your fish, your Jesus fish. Does no one else know what that is? I mean, it's possible that people might not know what that is. Anyway, I'm going. And, uh, I mean, since the Roman plaque doesn't actually belong to her, us taking it isn't stealing. Alright, I don't actually need to convince her of anything. Just walked over that wall and took it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I talked to the priestess. She told us all about old Karen. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Note from Livia. This place is called Accursed. Here, Titios offers up his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns, whom we know is Boldy. Ixion turns and follows after himself and flees, and the 49 bullies who dare plot the destruction of their cousins, their husbands, fetch again with incessant labor the water they have lost. I wonder if there was an alternate way to do that. Like, could we, could I have just convinced her to bring me here? Or is it just like you're supposed to come across it like that? I keep wanting to smash barrels with a knife. I cannot do that in this game. All right, a zip line. Uh, uh, there we go. Woo! There we go. And we're at the temple. I mean, there's no reason to go back in time or anything. Not right now. You know, unless we wanted to just uh, start the time limit over. Do we need to start the time limit over? Let's see. I for Let's see. Have we already talked... To Malaeus' wife. Okay, so we got the... Okay. Stop thinking about the Roman plaque because we got it unexpectedly. Think about the Greek plaque. Greek plaque in Dooley's cage. To get it, we need to get Galerius elected magistrate. He will only run if Malaeus drops out. We have to convince Malaeus to drop out. And it seems like the most likely way to do that is to talk to his wife and get her to give up the dirt on Malice. Um, she did not want to do that. I forget if we already talked to her in this in this loop. Um, if we have, then maybe we need to do the loop again. Oh wait, everyone's at dinner. That might mean the election is coming up soon. Don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, she's going to town on that goblet. So glad you decided. Remember that. She's intrigued. Yeah. Don't waste your breath. I know you're a horrible person. What if there How is dare like you? Get away what from if me. She's you out pig. there somewhere suffering, waiting to be found. 
Sounds like you're torturing I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock, cap at murder. I understand you're selling that for a thousand. A I'll do us all a favor and... I was wondering if I could maybe buy that. I don't know if there's a reason for me to have the hemlock, but maybe there could possibly be a use for the hemlock. Don't know what the use would be. I, I, is there anyone we'd want to poison? No, if there is. Imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. Oh, Magistrate's orders. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Hey, Santius, I got another plaque. Okay, feeling good. Hey, Galarius, you're just the man. You're the man I need. But I need to convince another man to drop out before I can talk to you. Tell me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back. I might say, I'm a little busy right now. All right, then. I'll get out of your way. All right, I guess that was the one to make him not do anything. That's fine. Um... A little dangerous getting on the zip line. Ooh. Anyway, what we want to do. We could still try to stop that guy from committing suicide. We could. Do I need to? I don't know if I need to. But uh, since we're right by the villa, why don't we just go talk to the wife and see if we can do anything here? I'm glad trespassing isn't a sin. Uh, stairs, stairs, stairs. Thank you, thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored to be elected your majesty. And now... <laughs> and now, uh, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. And now, and now, I make this solemn... <laughs> Here you are. Still crying. I'm not supposed to be in here. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? Let's see. Well, we know she doesn't know anything about Scintilla's disappearance. Well, let's just ask her anyway. I don't think this would make her mad. The dainty little thing from next door. Of course not. As much as I despise her father, I would never lay a finger on that poor, sweet child. And we know that's actually true. Fair enough. How would you like some help getting back at Mal Malaleus? Ma I think I keep mispronouncing the name. Mal Mal Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think he is whom he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? I'll have you know where I come from. This is known as gamer wear. You wouldn't understand, primitive person. That's just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, 
the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Okay, so we chose the first one, which she didn't want to do that. Like, she wants to get back at him, but she doesn't want him to drop out. So let's go for the second one. I, I hope I'm a charismatic man. I just hate to see a, such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Why do you want wine? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. Oh, I thought like she was she was going to say that she was plotting to like poison the wine and kill someone. No, she's just saying that she's going to get shit faced in front of all the important people. I see. I understand. Uh, why can't you get it yourself? You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. Oh uh, yeah, they don't, uh... They don't grow grapes here, do they? I guess the wine is limited to whatever someone brings in. When was the last time anyone has brought some wine in here? Uh, actually, that's not the only question I have. I would want to know where this one room... Oh, Decius has it, doesn't he? If anyone has it, it's him. He's going to charge... I have tons of money. He can charge tons of money. I have tons of money. That's all the questions I have. So you'll help me. I will get you some wine. Excellent. Now, you'll need... Ah, uh, Aurelia. Strumpet, Aurelia. She also, char she also charges through the nose. I expect you'll have to flatter her a bit. If that doesn't work, you might be able to get some advice from Yulia, who's probably still at the Shrine of Apollo. I heard they used to be close. They both appreciate the poetry of Sappho of Lesbos, if you get my meaning. Well, yeah, I do appreciate some poetry myself. Um, actually, Yulia, she's dying right now. Maybe you're not aware. I have I saved her in a previous timeline, but not this one. I could save her in this timeline. Um, but you know, like I said, I have a lot of money. If I just ask Aurelia for wine, even if she charges tons, I can probably afford it. I'll get right on it. Thank you. All right, that one that conversation went better. Let's take a look at the quests. Ask Aurelia. Right. Need to give Claudia some wine. And uh, we could save Yulia again if maybe that would help. For right now, let's just go talk to Aurelia and uh, see if she's willing to part with the one remaining urn of wine. How did you get in there, you cheeky 
he's surprised every time. Like, he's the guard, and every single time he's surprised when I go in and out of there. He's not a very good guard, is he? Oh, right. There's, like, this statue in front of this door. There's like a chest in there, but I can't... I can't get past her. It's strange. Like, maybe if we, uh, broke the golden rule, maybe that statue would move. Like, that's a pos- like, this is pretty close to the temple. Maybe the idea is that you need to go in there after the rule's broken. Cerberus lifts his triple head. And lets out his threefold braying. And you only pet the right one. We all know that. Stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron. You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? There we go. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's something dangerous about you, like a prowling manticore. Not interested. Sorry. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Well, I did make friends with Virgil in a previous timeline. I solved a, a problem that he was having with some uh, hateful messages. He seemed nice. But he doesn't sell wine. I understand only you do. I do, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. It's the last jug in the entire city, so I'm saving it for a, a romantic occasion. Oh, is that why she comes on to us? We have to, like, take down that conversation path to get the wine? Everything's for sale. Name your price. Everything except this. Sorry, sweetheart. Well, how about we take the head to the wine and head to the baths? Just you and me? Really? That's your move? Honey, I'll admit I was intrigued by you at first, but then you had to go and open your mouth. Unfortunately for you, nobody gets a second chance at a first impression. Hmm, but I do. We'll see about that. What's that supposed to be? The riddle of the Sphinx? I'm not that good at riddles, actually. I do, but... What's to stop me from just taking this wine? Well, even if you could get into my locked cabinet, and you can't, you'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't you, silly? It's true. Good idea. You had your one and only chance, and you blew it. Time to move on. But of course, the one lesson we have all learned... All right. See ya. ...is do not rely on the common sense of other people. You wouldn't steal my wine. That would kill all of us. All right, that's the key. Ah, oh, there it is. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Let's see. We know about this. Uh, it doesn't mention the wine. No wine in there.
What? Okay, that that one is moving, but it's in front of the door. Like it's active, but it's not actually leaving that door. Hey, Santius. All right. Well, we got our money, and we got um like a note talking about her malevolent plans, but. No wine. The wine is somewhere else. Ahem. Salve, friend. Mind telling me? Um. Yeah. So. Let's see. We can have him handle the assassin. We can handle. Uh. We can save Yulia. That's probably the one we should do. Um, we can give Rufius the willow bark. Uh, let's save Yulia. Oh no. All right, I can do that. Because it was said that Yulia might be able to help us. Oh, he can do all of them. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius too, I guess. All right, got it. Yeah, do everything. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Now, this guy's really good. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. No, no wonder we want him as magistrate. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to want to talk to Yulia and see if she can help us out. Ixian turns. Fabia. Listen. He's gonna handle that first. Coming into the city. I know, and I'll take care of him. Just go and hide, but not in the empty shrine. Wait, how did you know I was headed in there? No time to explain. Go. All right, I'll be in my bakery. Thank you, Galerius. He's gonna go talk to that guy. This is sa yeah, saving Yulia. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. I'm just going to help her swallow this. I think she's going to be all right. Galerius, you're amazing. How did you know? I was just doing what the new guy told me. That's me. I don't understand. How did? Never mind. Thank you so much for acting as quickly as you did. I never knew you were going to be able Can't stay. Places to be. All right, we do want to speak to Yulia, but let's see his other one. Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark. To help you treat it. A treatment? Really? Ah, thank God. Finally, some relief after all this time. Thank you, Galerius. You're a good man. And I'll be sure to leave Virgil alone. I know I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. I wonder how many tasks we can give to Galarius. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and... It worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? You'll never believe me if I told you. Oh, come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'll keep it between us. I promise. You're better off not knowing. Uh, that's a shame. 
now everybody's gonna think I'm some kind of oracle for knowing the future before it happens, and I have no way of explaining it. Hey, maybe the patricians will start treating me with a bit more respect. But then again, probably not. All right, I'll leave you to it, friend. Well, no wonder we'll be able to get this guy elected magistrate. We're gonna, like, load him up on quests, and he's gonna solve everyone's problems <laughs> rapid fire. <laughs> on the day of the election. A golden just Who are you gonna vote for? Galarius just solved everyone's problems in, like, uh, like five minutes. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. I know, that guy's amazing! Wanted. Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. <laughs> I'm trying to grift Aurelia. I don't, is that how we should put it? I don't know. Sure, okay. Really? You're going to give that snake a taste of her own medicine? I'm in. What do you need? Well, yeah, okay, Yuli is in on it because she is mad at Aurelia for uh, the hemlock. So, yeah, that is, that is true. I did forget that she was mad at her. I need the last of her wine, which she says she's saving for a romantic occasion. Ah, oh, so you need to sweep her off her feet, then. Is that it? I think I can help you with that. As much as it disgusts me to say this, we were sort of involved before she betrayed me. So I know her better than anyone. The thing you need to know about her is this. She's obsessed with money. An ostentatious display of wealth probably wouldn't hurt. I can do that. And I feel dirty saying this. She keeps a journal upstairs in her room, beside her bed. If you could somehow take a look, that might tell you how she thinks. I can do that too. Thanks. I'll see see if this works. May Nemesis guide you. Stars. Do you know anything about Scintilla's disappearance? No. I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so I can't help you, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Did we ask her? Like, we already talked to her before. I thought we asked her about these things. All right. Goodbye. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see. Can I look at my... Yeah, there it is. Aurelia's diary. <clears throat> Right. Made a thousand denarii, selling a way out to Yulia. Sold her hemlock for a thousand. Uh, let's go into reading. Okay, we can just do this. Um, didn't break the golden rule. Oh, she insulted Aurelia's hair. That's why. Uh, let's see. Okay, she also got a thousand from Ulpius. Very little, mo little to spend money on here. Just having it. This is kind of weird. A and D is changing the image in the background but i want to get rid of the summary like here i don't i don't need that i can just read the page dear diary it worked again i'm now a thousand denarii richer thanks to opius and his desperation for escape i find i have something to spend my money on malleus Ma malleolus is running for magistrate for a sufficient tribute she'll be able to move into sentius okay so apparently if she pays uh malleus then she'll be moving into Sentius's villa. I wonder if we could buy her vote by making that same promise. Better make sure he wins. I guess that's the end of it. Don't know why there's a blank page. All right, so maybe that's the promise we should make. Also, ostentatious display of wealth, you say? What does the quests have to say? It doesn't- it- this did not- okay, no, it did. Impress Aurelia with a display of wealth. I have money. Do I need to, like- oh. Welcome. Can I buy fancy clothes? From my friend? Ah, a fellow traveler from a far out greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. 
We must stick together, you and I. My friend, your words intrigue me. No, the option isn't here. I hope that our pa Like I was, you know, he. I was hoping I could like, like buy his uh some wares, some finery. Doesn't seem like it's an option. You look well, my sartorial friend. Trying to think about, is there anything I could, like, be wearing to display my wealth? Or is just having a lot of... Maybe I could just throw some money around. Hello there, friend. And may I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? Oh, you would like to know. I took it from the Shrine of Diana, only to discover you'd locked me inside with angry hornets. I managed to escape, and after a harrowing, harrowing ordeal in the palace and traveling back in time, here I am. Uh, are you well, stranger? Have you been out in the sun too long? You seem a little... confused? Perhaps you should go and see Lucretia in a clinic. Nothing new to say. Very well. Another time. Doesn't even remember that I foiled his his plot, his plot to betray me. So, you know, it's not satisfying if he doesn't remember it. Um... Salve. Well... I guess the only thing to do is to go talk to, uh... Go talk to Aurelia. And see if I can impress her with my monies. Yeah, this statue. This statue came to life, but it didn't move. Strange. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his... Well, you gotta wait for them to finish there. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope right. I'm not being too Being forward, stumpy. prowling manticore. <laughs> You don't make as much money as I have without being willing to break some rules. Well, since you bring that up, let's cut to the chase. What are you worth? Just open up my coat and like thousands of coins come falling out. I have thousands of denarii on me. Eh, I have that much myself. Maybe if you had at least 10,000, things might have been different. <sighs> I take back what I said. She becomes disinterested very quickly. You're so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? All right, see ya. All right, so that did an update, but I guess... We're, we're being told specifically we need 10,000. Um, it would be a bit disappointing if this part of the game is just going to constantly steal money and time loop. I feel like that would be a little disappointing. Especially if we actually do have to steal 5,000. How much did she have here? You stay away from my money. I guess we're going to find out. The many shall suffer for the sin. Yeah, 2,000. Well, we, already, we already did that. Alright, so... You know, it's 2,000. It's a good amount, but... Uh, we're gonna have to do this, what, two more times? I guess she is right next to this. Oh. 
I could try to seduce her again, knowing that I can't impress her with my wealth until I get 10,000. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? Um, well, okay, just in case we do get the wine, let's just send him on his tasks. Yulia? Alright, let me see. I'll go. Well, there she is. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not- She's intrigued. She's just not that intrigued. She's really not that intrigued. Um, let's go with seduction. Ugh, coming on a bit- Whoops, that's- that was the wrong one. I forgot- forgot she- she doesn't like when we come on strong. All right, see- Guess I'm just gonna steal your money. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. All right. <laughs> Considering Sentius remembers each loop, he's probably not amused at this. Uh, okay. We'll try the seduction. Right, right. I have to play hard to get. No, I have to play. Not disinterested, but not interested either. Just like a certain median of interestedness. Um. Oh, that was not the one I meant to pick. That's fine. It's fine. Hi. Oh, you're here. I'm and uh, there's something. Prowling Manticore. <clears throat> it's not charming. Um, we we don't want to mention money because we don't have ten thousand. I guess not. No, let's say. Oh, stop it. No, please go on. What was that? Some kind of joke. If it was, it wasn't funny. <sighs> I take. I don't find you intriguing anymore. I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings Ixian you to my tavern? Turns. Gonna steal your money. All right. See ya. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Aurelia getting golded just as we ran by. Sentius reaches the door this time. Look, if you need money, I'll just give you some money instead of you just Stealing some and time looping again. I'll just give you some instead of having to keep doing this. So, 11,600. Mm. Salve, friend. Oh. Oh. Yo. Oh, you're here. 
I'm so glad you decided to visit. Not that glad. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm there's some Prowling Manticore. I'm rich. Well, this is I have more than ten thousand denarii on me. Ten thousand? And you're just carrying that around? Oh my. Aren't you impressive? But enough about that. I want to know all about you. Tell me, who are you hoping will win today's you, election? Sisyphus, Sentius, attack or, or pursue the stone that always... Neither one. I make my own rules. That's what I can do since I have all the money. Galarius is going to win. That oafish farmer. Are you soft in the head? <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? I guess stealing your money. All right, see ya. I mean, maybe I don't know if I need any more money. Probably not. I guess I'll just steal it again. Who knows how much money I'll actually need. Shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, so don't make my own rules. We know, okay, so I know that who she wants to win. I know who she wants to win the election. Um, but I just wanted to put forth that maybe, just maybe, there's another contender for this election. She doesn't like that. I guess probably Sentius dealt with this kind of thing when Al was doing it. Sentius is probably saying, yeah, there was a point when Al was uh, hesitant to break the golden rule, but then he got to this part where he was trying to do this one specific thing and he couldn't do it, so he just kept having to break the rule over and over rapidly. Well, you... I guess that's probably going to happen to everyone. You're here. I decided to visit. Money. Wow. Since Ten thousand. Tenth. But enough about. Mal. Mal. Mally. Ma Big Mal. The M Man. Hmm. Good answer. Though it's no secret that I'm a Maliolus supporter. So, tell me, what do you like about him? I love his secret Christianity. It doesn't say that. I can't stand Sentius. He's the lesser of two evils. Strong should prevail over the weak. He'll be more amenable. Okay, uh, Aurelia would be into this. He'll be more amenable to tributes than Sentius, if you get what I'm saying. Honey, I'm beginning to think Venus herself sent you to me because I love the way you think. Here's an idea. How about we head to the baths? With some wine I've been saving. And uh, see where it leads. Hmm? Sounds good to me. Let me take that off your hands. Oh, I see you know how to treat a lady. Here you go. Oh, she just was holding that on her, on her, her person. Thank you. I think I'm just going to keep this. What? What are you talking about? I was just after your wine. No, no, you give that back. Give it back or, or you'll break the golden rule. That's an interesting point. If she declare, I already have it and the golden rule's not been broken. So if she states that she doesn't want me to have it, do we, does the golden rule then kick in? How does that work? I doubt it. You gave it to me. Only so you could carry it to the baths. Yeah, I said, let me take it off your hands and you let me. Okay, we're going to rules lawyer this. Oh, think you're clever, do you? 
Well, you're nothing but a... a... Priscilla Semitorius Quavemicus. I was just gonna use you for your money. Thanks again for the wine. Hey, okay, we got the wine. Um, all right. Wine, wine, wine. We need to give it to what? To, 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 to the, the M man's wife. That's right. That's what we're doing with it. That's what we need it for. The golden statue's information are out of date. Like they're saying, the priestess. Yeah, I know. I talked to the priestess. I found out about Karen. We're way ahead of that. We're in the end game here. We got three plaques and wine. And we've got an in with the wife. Thank you. I am delighted. Way ahead of talking to the priestess. Hello. I'm not supposed to be in here. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? Well, I don't think we just want to offer the wine straight away, right? Like, we probably want to ha We haven't had, like, in this timeline, we haven't had the conversation. Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. Okay, I guess the, uh, yeah, I guess that the option we originally took to get her to talk to us isn't here anymore. All right, it's been replaced with wine. Can I interest you in this wine? You barge into my villa and offer me wine. I'd have you thrown out, but it just so happens that is exactly what I need. The question is, what do you want for it? I was hoping we could figure out... Maliolus's true identity together? Ah, it seems Bacchus smiles on me once again. And I believe I have just the thing you're looking for. Some time ago, he wrote me a letter and signed it Quinctius, apparently by accident. I've kept it ever since, hoping one day I'd find out what it meant. I'll happily show it to you for that wine. Deal. Here's the wine. Thank you. Here's the letter. Quintius to hit to beloved Claudia. For a time, I despaired at the thought of being trapped here for the rest of my life. But then I met you and discovered that as long as I am with you, I am exactly where I should be. Mere words cannot express my affection for you. And so I will perform a grand gesture in your honor. I will become the city's magistrate so that I may govern with wisdom and strength with you by my side. Now... Perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. Well, according to this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, don't ask me how I have the bounty letter. He's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. Um, let's see. Hang on to it. We can always get another copy. Sure, you can have it. No one else will. Oh, hmm. Do we need it? I mean, we already thought he was Quintius. I mean, I think I probably want to hang on to it. What? No. You... You tricked me, you mendacious little Sturkus. I didn't lie to you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. Well, clearly it wasn't a sin because I don't see anyone turned into gold, Claudia. No one's turned into gold, are they? I'll be going now. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. 
may this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. Well, I, I'm just going... Well, pa you're not in a state of mind to talk like a reasonable person, clearly, if you're going to be cursing me to not be able to walk around or eat or drink or anything. And here I am, going through so much to get her this wine. So much. I'm offended, ma'am. Let's see, democracy in action. Right, so... We, we're not... The intention, apparently, is not to destroy Malice. Um, it's just to get him to withdraw from the election. And, well, we have the... The dirt on him. Let's use it. Hi. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? So, you're Quintius? Oh, I skipped that line. Seem to have confused him with someone else. I do like that the name on his bar changed. You have one green eye and one blue eye. Just like the description in this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I mean, we can prove it, though. Apparently, Quintius also suffers from delusions of grandeur. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. Hmm. We can't prove it? Do we need more? My mistake. Never mind. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? It's what I do. Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because I know you're Quintius. Your wife gave me your love letter, and Nero wants you dead. I... Uh, so, it finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Fortunately for you. So... You're not going to kill me. Not if you withdraw from the election immediately and release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, well, if I do it, you would let me live? I will. I'll have Demetrius oh. notify the priestess of my withdrawal. And release those two from debt bondage. There, you got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. Thank you, Quintius. All right. Okay. Is that our guy? No, that's the priestess. Uh, hold on. Virtuous man. Let's, uh, turn that on. And find the boy. Whoop, don't need that. Oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. Do I have an icon anywhere? Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I just had a, 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 a change of heart. For you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money, wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. All right, he's making it official. Hmm. <laughs> so I turned on, yeah, a virtuous man. I turned that on, um, but I'm not getting like an icon. What if we turned on a Greek plaque? Pr 
Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. But thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. Oh, there she goes. Who's she going to tell? Citizens. No. Nope. I have an announcement. All right, she's telling me. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Woo! Any new challengers are nominated by nightfall. Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. We'll see about that. All right, so that's the official announcement. I'm surprised I'm not getting an icon. Because they usually do that. That's not actually what I meant. Usually when I select... The great temple majestic. Yes. Well, I mean, the only interaction I've had with it is someone jumping to his death, so... Mm -mm. Like, usually it'll just, um... Well, I mean, you know, you've seen it. It'll bring up an icon telling me the direction to go and how, long, how far away. It's not doing that this time. I mean, of course, uh, Galerius does not hang out in the main town. He hangs out on his farm. That is, that's his farm over there, isn't it? Can I see him? Is he standing there? Okay, here, yeah, I do see him. He is, he is standing there. I mean, I'm gonna guess I probably can't survive that drop. Is there a zip line? Yeah, I've been to his farm before, but it was like once or twice. Hmm. Well, it did some damage. Not that much. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? I'm reliving the same day over and over again. Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Remind me who that is. Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp a fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Go on. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. 
Thanks, Galerius. Anytime, friend. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Well, actually, we need to speak right now, if that's okay. Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's on your mind? Never thought about running from Magistrate. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Ma Malaeus withdrew from the election. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right. All right, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. Well, it sounds like you're on it, actually. All right, so. Figure out how to get him elected. Well, he did solve a bunch of people's problems. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, the Greek plaque is the one that we're going for now. We could... I guess there's one thing we could do. Well, I mean, we'll talk to people and see if we can bring up... Uh, bring him up. Galerius. But we could also try to save Ulpius from killing himself. You know, it's a thing we could try. Let's see. I went up there once. So I have to remember how we get up to the top there. Octavia. Life under the golden rule. Your friend's about to commit suicide if you you're not noticing that. So far? I'm feeling a bit on edge. It's a little bit of a joke. You may not be getting it yet. That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night, contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the Golden Rule, and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Uh, I, I really just need to talk to your friend. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Ulpius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life 
Working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Good news, Ulpius. Malleus has agreed to release you and Yulia from your debts. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact. And she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Lucretia was able to get some Sylphium in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Uh, what? Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do that. You're both free. Free to elect the man you have to thank for this. Galerius running for magistrate. We're... We're free. We're free. Thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Some really intense eyes, Ulfius. I could repay you. But I have nothing but the tunic on my back. Don't worry about it. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Thanks again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for us. No, you'll never forget what Galarius did for you. He's running for, for Magistrate if you want to vote for him. Do you want to vote for Galarius? What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm thankful that you're here. Can I help you with something? So, you're a Christian. How's that going for you? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but... Things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did ask her these other things, but not. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Another time, then. Well, what I probably should be doing is talking to people to try to convince them to vote for Galerius. Let's head on down and see what the citizens feel about this. Uh, doctor, I know you're in there peeling golden statues, but if you could just come out today to vo Actually, I'm sorry, women can't vote, can they? Th that's right, women here can't vote, sorry. You can keep going on peeling golden statues. Right, so from... Hmm? Oh, I, I stepped in fire. So from here... Oh, right, that takes us to the... The palace, that zip line, which is actually not where we need to go because we have to just go back up here. That's right. And here's the obelisk. We will be putting plaques into that once we get the fourth plaque. Which it looks like we're, uh... We're on track to get. Oh, we went through a window on that one. That's pretty cool. It does take a while to get to the actual populated part of the town. I'm a man, Opius. Shalom. What's your story? You mean where am I from and all that? 
Judea, originally. But when I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family, Romanized my name and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans-Tiberim, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos, full of people with all their belongings in carts and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road and went to defend them. I can only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest by a river not far from here with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river but not take my coins? It's a mystery. Hmm. Listening to your inner contrarian and doing the thing that's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. I can't, can't imagine what that's like. Good on you for risking your life to help others. A lot of good it did me. And that family. I sometimes wonder what happened to them. Do you know a way out of here? I don't. But even if I did, I'm not going anywhere. I have unfinished business. What do you think about the golden rule? Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment, so I guess you're looking for a pithy summary? <laughs> you remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a Gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. Obliging, he replied, what is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Of course, what I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god. That's for sure. That's actually what I'm working on, Opius. The whole thing about what is a sin. Certain things seem like they should be sins, and they're not. I'm hoping that I can get the, you know, the word straight from the horse's mouth once I get all four plaques. We will see. Good question. Thanks. I just wish there was a way to find out. Who are you gonna vote for, huh? Huh? Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Would you consider voting for Galerius? Galerius, the farmer? He's a good man, but I think he's more valuable on the farm than as magistrate. But, 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 what a, but consider maybe Galerius. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Well, maybe if we time loop again... And Galerius is the one who actually frees him. You know, maybe that'll change his mind. But then again, who knows? Maybe we might have enough votes already. Maybe we don't need to turn everyone. Okay, hey, here we are. Uh, let's see. Well, of course, women can't vote, so don't need to talk to them. Anyone hanging around up here? We know that a bunch of them come here for dinner before the election, but uh, all of them are probably hanging out in the, uh, the town square. Salve. Hey, Virgil. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Well, actually, Galerius saved Julia's life. Speaking of which, who are you going to vote for? Galerius, definitely. 
He put an end to the notes and graffiti I've been receiving. Awesome. Can count on you for a Galerius vote. All right. Nice to talk to you. Ah, a fellow traveler from a greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. Speaking of sticking together, the most effective part of sticking together is to vote together as one solid block. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. But vote for who, you might ask? Galerius. Did you know he saved the life of my young friend Fabia? The man is a hero. All right, two votes for Galerius. But of course. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Here's the baker. Shiny. It is shiny, but, you know, the women can't vote thing, you know. Decius, you're a scumbag. Who are you going to vote for? Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? No. Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if you have any use for it down here. It's not for sale. Oh, well, let me know if you change your mind. But for now, can I help you with something? Who are you going to vote for? Sentius, I suppose. Stability is always good for business. I'd like you to vote for Galerius. Yeah? And what's he going to do for me? He's nothing. Can I bribe you? Certainly. For a few thousand denarii. What a coincidence. Here's 3,000 denarii. Pleasure doing business. Can I help you with anything else? I'll be going. Very well. Another time. That's another vote for Galerius. And, uh... Alright, buying votes is not a sin. Confirmed. Maybe I should try to get the assassin to vote for Galerius. Hey, your boss isn't in the election anymore. Who are you going to vote for? What now? Who are you going to vote for? <laughs> I'm not going. Well, I mean, at least that's not a Sentius vote. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. I don't think he can see much out of that helmet. Hey, Quintus, who are you gonna vote for? Leave me be. Can I count on your vote? <laughs> Sentius, who are you gonna vote for? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? We've had this conversation. Wait, I must have... Is that about... We've had this conversation, too. Seems rather... No, I, I, we cannot ask him who he's going... I mean, I guess as a candidate, uh, he cannot he cannot vote. I'll be waiting here for news. It would make sense. Um, is there anyone else? Any other dudes? Oh, you. That's right. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? Well, you're a, you're a sentious man. Can I change your mind? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Okay, I, I don't think I don't think we're going to be able to change his mind about that. Now, let's see. Do we see, um, rheumatism man walking around anywhere? There he is. Citizen. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. 
Who are you going to vote for? Valerius sorted out my rheumatism. For the first time in a long time, I'm not in constant pain. Good man. Great. Fine. See you around. I mean, so far it sounds like we have a majority vote for Galarius. Is there anyone else we could try to convince? Don't know if there is. I can't think of anyone. Well, if we see the priestess, we can ask her to hold the vote. Oh, there she is. That's quite an impressive bow you have there. A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galerius, the challenger. Why do you ask? Can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well. I'll get things started right away. All right, let's see if we succeeded. We've never been in attendance for the election. It is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. The one time that the election happened, uh, we weren't present, and that was the one where Malleus uh, won and then sentenced Sentius to death by, well, by combat with a gladiator because of treason, and that activated the golden rule. But we haven't been in- we haven't actually been present for this. Maybe not everyone's here yet. Yeah, there are some people that are missing. I guess we're just gonna hang out and... Oh. Would there be a reason to climb that? Oh, hold on. Galerius Helver. Marcus Maliolus Gerges withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Galerius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. 
Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helver. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. All right, we did it. And I guess uh, Horatius is going to go free the duel man. And Sentius is now thinking about what he's going to be doing. Like what? Uh, what? Like what is he going to do aside from be the leader? That's just kind of the thing he does. But he's not that anymore. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out of here. I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure. It's me. Thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths? Then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Hey, Dooley. Yoink. 80s Lord of Many. We got him. Hey, Dools. Uh, hello? I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galeria said I should thank the newcomer. Are you the newcomer? We've met before, Dooley. Oh, sorry. I don't remember things so good. But, thank you. You're a big helper. I was locked up, but they let me out again. I'm so happy. You're welcome. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would, but then he died. But before that, he told me, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. Yeah, he did mention that. That's the reason Sentius put him in the, in the cage, so he wouldn't steal anything. I did do it. I did do it, Dooley. I did find it. What was in there? Was it gold and pearls and shiny things? Do you... Do you think you could share some with me? No, but I learned some very important things in there, and I think they might help us even more. I'm confused. Hannibal said it was a... Precious secret. It's not a treasure. It is precious, just not in the way we thought. Oh. Uh, Alright. I trust you. Oh, look over there. Something shining. Is it treasure? Maybe no, Dooley, no. No. I can see it from this. Dooley, no. It's just lying out here. Don't do it, Dooley. Maybe nobody wants it anymore. Maybe no one will mind if I... Don't do it, Dooley. <laughs> Dooley, no. <Take> it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> he did it. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Yep, Dooley. Okay, so Sentius was right. Sentius was correct. It turns out. Turns out. Hey, you know where Sent- I'll, I'll just tell Sentius he was, he was right. So. 
<laughs> it was just like le like a minute. It was just like a minute. <laughs> I know. You know, in that conversation where we said we already found Hannibal's treasure, I have to be honest, I don't remember what that's talking about. I we must have found something at some point and that was that was it. Was it a, was it one of the plaques? Cuz honestly, I do not remember what the treasure was. It's just there's nothing I just the memory's gone. I must have not even realized it when we when we did it. Okay, our leads are all done. They are all gone. Point of origin, creating the time paradox as we get an ending. The golden rule. Okay, so finding out who's going to break the golden rule, we haven't been doing that since the beginning because, like, the, the game's really not about that. A Herculean task. This is the one we've been doing, and we have all four plaques. Divine intervention. Ask a Quedi. Okay, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't do that one. It doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, and then follow- yeah, do that. So, okay. The important thing is that we have all four plaques, and that means it's finally time to go up to that high temple, put those plaques in that obelisk, which is supposed to mean that the doors will open. That's what they've been saying, that's what we've been doing. We want to open those doors, go in and talk to Pluto. That's been our goal, and we are just about to reach our goal. So, next time, maybe the last part of Forgotten City. Maybe it's time we will be getting ending number four, the final ending. I assume that's what's happening. We will see. Um, the This election one, this was definitely the longest of the four plaques. The other three much faster in comparison uh, and it was kind of funny how we got the roman one we just happened to stumble into the stumble into the cage where it was i did not expect that to happen but it did so we got that okay we're finally going to solve this mystery we're finally going to talk to the pluto man and he's going to tell us he's going to lay it all down for us lay down his divine wisdom on the nature of sin and the golden rule and why all why the forgotten city exists we will find out next time <laughs>